And the approach I have, I heard it years ago. It was um, see the handle, not the tool. And they were talking about what, like, what are you trying to do? Or if you know that you're trying to hammer this nail in, like you already know what you're going to need to do. Like, I don't need to tell someone how to use a katana, how to use this. Like, no, no, no. Like you, there's a nail, like go get a hammer. So when I'm, I'm talking about what tool to use tons of times, people will be like, listen, bubble can do everything. Let's use, but I'm like, okay, great. I love it. We can do this, but wait a minute. What are you trying to accomplish? Let's talk about those things and then expand from there. Um, you know, Lacey was talking about like, first of all, I think the best onboarding platform to teach databases, I think actually is Adalo with how it teaches relational uh, databases and like the walkthrough and everything. But sometimes like we had a pushback with uh, a student because they were like, what kind of database? And they were trying to have this whole conversation. I was like, why don't we just use AppSheet? because it actually builds your database for you, like the relationship database for you. Like, but that was for that specific client case, right? So I, I really just think the tech stack, the best one, and I saw it in the comments, like Denise was asking about like Wix, like is Wix great? I'm like, Wix might be great for you. Like I, it might, I'm never about like, this one is better than the other. What do you want to accomplish? How, how fast do you want to move and how much money do you want to make and where do you want to expound? And let, let's work from there, um, you know, because tons of times I, I had someone in the comments, they're like, I, I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn bubble. I'm going to do this. I was like, have you ever picked up? They're like, I need this done in about three hours. The whole thing done. I've never used bubble before. I was like, well, there might be some heavy drinking going on af after that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that, but good health to you. I, I mean, so it kind of just depends of like, I don't even try to explain expose all of them because there's so many platforms. What do you want to get done? Where do you want to go? And let's start there. So it's, yeah, that way. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. And there is a, every use case is going to kind of require a different stack. And, and as you mentioned, I don't know who mentioned this. Someone mentioned like sometimes they just look, work beautifully together, right? Like I've seen people build really beautiful front ends on Webflow to, for the whole customer acquisition side of things. And I'm a huge fan of Webflow as well. And then like they'll, they might build like the app and like Adalo, they might build it in bubble. They might like, and, and so it's really interesting to see that like, even now, like we're combining these tools and the tools themselves are, are developing. Even Webflow is kind of talking about, you know, membership, which up till now it's like being like a basically member stack. And, and I love member stack. Those guys are awesome. Um, and I think that it's just so exciting to see that there's like, like for the end user, it's like, they want to learn several tools but again like as you mentioned depending on what they're looking to actually accomplish like there's going to be a different uh, best approach and for me the thing i always focus on is that when it comes to building companies it's like testing validating iterating and understanding the feature set that you need that people are willing to pay for and you can do tests very simple tests to be able to do that so i'm a huge ambassador of teaching people entrepreneurship no code just happens to be the smartest way to to build things early on because it's easy to iterate it's quicker to learn, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I fully agree on, on that point for sure. Uh, Tara, what, what's your take here? So we teach, we've had a couple different variations of how we taught. Uh, when we first launched, we exclusively taught Bubble. And also like when we first launched, there were not many no code tools that were out there. Um, I still really love Bubble. Um, it's just not the tool that we teach to beginners who are just starting, who have no interest in really being the one who's always doing the app building. They want to get the app running so they can probably go working on being CEO, doing marketing, doing other things. Things. So we that was sort of the first iteration of how we trained. The second one, we used a bunch of different tools um, and taught really like I think about no code and the types of tools in a couple of different categories. One category are these like one stop shop tools where it's intended that you build the entire interface in one platform. Um, and you can build just about like any kind of platform. It gives you a blank canvas and you can paint, right? Um, another kind of tool that I often think about are these like vertical specific tools where they do like one type of thing really well. I think tap carts are a really good example of that where like they're focused on a particular uh, kind of category of use cases and they're gonna crush it there. Mighty Networks is an example of that where like they do social networks really well. Um, Share Tribe is, is an example of that where they do like marketplaces really well. So I think about like generalist platforms and then like um, specific platforms. So we have also had an iteration of our program where we've taught 
specific program. So based on, you know, you answered questions. I really like conversational, like question and answer experiences. So you answered questions and we recommended for you what tool to use based on what feature sets you needed. But we focused and specialized on like specific, um, vertical specific tools it was our second iteration. The third iteration that we're on now that we teach now is we primarily actually teach a tool called Glide. Um, there's sort of a, a nice combination between like ease of use um, and functionality that we find fits our students really well. So we primarily teach using a platform called Glide. Um, I also love the Adalo. I also use Bubble myself. Um, and so those are other platforms that like if Glide's not a good fit for, we send other people to. So that's sort of how we teach now. Um, and really it just has to do with like us experimenting with different platforms and figuring out what the easiest one is for functionality that our customers need. 